what's up y'all we are back with another video first and foremost this video is raw and uncut i am coming on here as i am with it take me as i am you know so anyways this video is basically an update will i be receiving the tummy tuck and the breast lift will i not be receiving it for those who watched that video you all know i was based in my decision after i had a conversation with my significant other so me and him had a conversation and it would have looked something like this basically i can do what makes me happy so i can receive the surgery if that's what i want but if i'm being honest will he like me to have the surgery he's telling me do what makes you happy but he's also saying he feels like i'm small already i don't need to be smaller and like i explained to him the surgery is not making me smaller maybe you're able to see my shape more so you will be able to see how small i really am but it's not the surgery is not gonna make me smaller than what i am right now so yeah so your girl is getting it september 15th i have to be at the hospital at six o'clock a.m the procedure starts at seven o'clock a.m i am his first patient for the day and yeah so i'm excited that i am receiving the surgery today is september what's today's day ninth and today was also my last day at work i didn't go to work today because i had to go to the emergency room i'll talk about that at the end of this video so if you stay until the end and watch to see why did i go to the er shout out to you <laughs> you're a real one but anyway, so I'm excited about the surgery. What did I do to prepare for the surgery? What have I done already? Something that I've done already was one, for those who don't know, my bed sits up high. And being that my bed sits up high, I had to break my bed down to put my bed on the floor. So that way I'm able to get in and out of the bed without actually really raising myself up, if that makes sense to you all so that's one thing that i did another thing that i did is i had asked my mom to order me a few items off of amazon shout out to my mama because she ordered them i'll show y'all what we got in a second i'll show y'all one item that we got in a second because the other two items which is the scar recovery items that i got i'm not going to actually show you all that until you get an updated video i want to make sure that work on my promo nothing that i don't know that it actually works so that's that's just that on that part and so we ordered that also i ordered no not i didn't order but i went to go get some nightgowns so for those who don't know i'm a size small the nightgowns i actually got an extra large because i don't want nothing kind of tugging just a little tight like i won't room because i'm gonna have drains in me in my head i may be overthinking the whole process but i'd rather overthink this process than to get the my actual size or a size up and can't put it on that's just me so i did that like i said my mom ordered my mom ordered those two items that i just mentioned that i won't show y'all into an update but then this uh third item she got me is to allow me to sit up as if i was in a hospital bed so it's a thing it's a pillow i'm just calling the pillow for your back and then your leg so i'll sit like this and here it is right here okay so your girl gonna be comfortable then for my legs here it is hopefully you all can see that my my legs will go up on here and yeah hey it is what it is hopefully it works out if it don't um i have tried it it's really uncomfortable because i'm laying on my back but whatever is gonna be what it's gonna be and it's only uncomfortable to me because i'm not a person that sleeps on their back i'm a person that sleeps on their side so 
whatever tonight and okay so today is friday the ninth i think i mentioned that already and so tonight friday all the way until tuesday i'm going to sleep on my back with the items that you all just seen and to try to get used to it at least comfortable enough to where i'm able to fall asleep so those are the items that I have so far. And I told you the nightgowns. Now, this can be me just overthinking things. But I'm about to keep it real with you all. I get my surgery on the 15th. My ladies day start the 24th. No. It's supposed to start on the 20th. Okay. My ladies day start on the 20th. I get my drain removals on the 22nd. I'm not a person that wear tampons. I'm a person that wear pads. Tampons is not for me. They're uncomfortable. It's just, me going into details is just probably too much information, but it's more of the story is it's uncomfortable. I don't wear them. So, like I said, this could be me just overthinking things because I like to wear pads. And I don't, I don't want to wear, and I'm having my drinks. I don't want to wear underclothes that's really like underneath my line. I'm going to order some pad depends. And I can be overthinking things. I'm going to let y'all know how it all works out. You know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, I could be really overthinking this whole procedure. But in my mind, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to be able to wear panties. So, which means I'm not going to be able to wear my pad. I'm dang sure I'm not putting, on, putting in no tampons. So, how can I? Okay, so I can get some period uh, period um, diapers and wear those like pregnant ladies. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to just do that and get them. Uh, I got them in the extra large. So, they big. But not too big. Well, I don't really know because I ain't never put them on. But I know they're they, they going to be big. But... Listen, I'm going to tell y'all how it go. I'm, I'm just got to keep it real. I'm going to tell y'all if I was able to do it, if I wasn't able to do it. You know what I mean? I'm going to tell y'all if I end up having to use a tampon and just got to deal with the uncomfortableness. I'm going to be honest when it comes to you all about my lady Zay and the whole having the surgery right around the same time it starts. My drains don't get taken out until the 22nd. So, and that's if, well, I just know that's my post update. So, I don't really know what can what can transpire but supposedly the 22nd is when the drains is coming out so you know hey that's just that on that um i'm excited about the surgery to have my breast lift i did talk to my doctor so for those okay so i talked to my doctor on the 31st now before i had a conversation with my doctor i was doing my research and it's this one other lady who i follow on tiktok she also received uh a tummy tuck but before she had her tummy tuck she also had the uh vsg surgery so her scar the cutting wise her scar is fading nicely too but the cutting wise beautiful beautiful it's not straight across i'm calling it um sort of kind of like a v it's how i looked at it when i when i seen it so when I had a conversation with my doctor, I let him know. I said, you know, I'm not trying to compare your work to anybody. You know, every doctor is different. But I did do my research on some things. And I did want to see if, you know, if you're able to make my, my scar um, not just straight across. Is is it possible for you to do like a V-shape? I'm like, it's not really a V-shape, but it's sort of kind of like a V-shape because it's going along the line of how her stomach is, which which means mine will go along the line around how my stomach is. And he was like, do you mean like a U-shape? I said, that's exactly what I mean. So he already knew what I was talking about. I said, that is exactly what I mean. It was a U-shape. I'm calling it a V-shape, but it's really like a U-shape. And then when he said it, I'm like, okay, yeah, it is more so of like a U than a V. And that's what I'm talking about. Dr. Brian, yes, sir. That is what I'm saying. So he was like, okay, you know, we'll go over the cuttings and all of that the day of. I said, okay, that's fine. I said, and then when it comes to my uh, breast lift, I said, and when it comes to my breast lift, I would like to be a B cup. 
and he was like well what are you right now i said to be honest with you i really don't know i said i was a double d but now i'm not i said i really can't tell you what my bra size is but i would like to be a b he said okay well we we will have to see about that when i'm actually in there but i'm going to do what i can and i said okay that that, that sounds sounds reasonable i said and one more other thing i said i was also doing my research on um on muscle tightening i said and i've seen someone say that their insurance actually covered the muscle tightening i said so can i have the muscle tightening he was like well muscle tightening out of the pocket i'll be paying five thousand it's like okay so then i also asked him i said well is it too late to first try to get it approved to the assurance he was like no it's not too late i said okay can we put it in he was like yeah so i'm waiting for him to put it in i already know it's gonna come out i'm able to get the muscle tightening so i ain't worried about that i'm not gonna come out the pocket for it so i'm not worried about it i might come out the pocket for a portion of it but i'm coming out the pocket for the portion of the procedure overall i'm just not gonna come out the pocket for the whole thing i'm cool with doing just that so you know he said that i did not talk to him about you know my off days so i will be technically my last day of work was today so starting the 12th all the way into october 18th is when i will return to work so i made sure i had to do what i had to do for my job and all of that i am trying to do the whole unemployment thing benefits for being off don't really know if i'm gonna be able to do that or not but i did use stuff for half of it i did use my sick time the other half of it i may have to get um a sick time pool from my job into the actual unemployment kicks in if they're even like i don't even know the whole pr procedure when it comes to that so you know i'm just i'm pl i'm just planning by ear planning by eyes as i'm reading it as i'm as i'm going uh and as i'm reading as i'm listening <laughs> i'm just like just going, I'm going along with the flow, but I'm most definitely going to make sure I got everything I need to have and do what I need to do to make sure my bills and stuff is paid for while I'm, while I'm off. So I'm not worried about that at all. What else? Any other updates on anything? Oh, when I re do my procedure, I am going on a fast. I'm going on a fast. I'm going on a month fast. To heal myself from the inside out but also keeping it real just keeping it straight straight a honey with y'all how i feel how not how i feel but what i've been told that when patients that receive vsg surgery then receive a tummy tuck sometimes happen to gain weight back because they're not able to move as much. They're not able to exercise as much. They're not able to do a lot of things that'll knock that weight off. So for me, when I hear that, I'm like, we ain't going back. No, 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 no. Trying to figure out how did you get here, stomach, after this procedure, we're not doing that. So, girl going on fast. And that fast would consist of juicing, raw salads. So, if I do a salad, it'll be romaine lettuce, tomatoes, maybe, a, you know, sprinkle a little onions on there. But far as my sauce, I will use uh, limes or lemon. Yeah. And that's just, that's just, that, that's just what it is. It is what it is when it comes to that. And like I said, I may be overthinking it if I happen to eat something besides a salad, besides juicing, besides eating fruit. I'm going to keep it real with you all and let you all know, hey, I did A, B, C, and D. But I do want you all to let me know, how would y'all like me to document this? Would y'all like a video every two weeks? So a two-week update? Like every two weeks, I'll do an update, update, update. Or would y'all like me to just do a whole record, of course, but don't drop it until my month hit? What do you all want to see from me when it comes to my healing process of receiving loose skin removal surgery and receiving a breast lift? 
but before i end this video let me just real quick why did i have to go to the emergency room today well monday uh i, I had got a mosquito bite so which means sunday i got that mosquito bite monday rise and that mosquito bite was itching my back was then itching uh my back just kept itching throughout the whole entire week today is friday and it kept getting worse so i needed to go to the emergency room because i'm like what in the hell is going on i can't be having like you know what i'm saying i'm itching it's here like my neck my back is going into my 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 face and then into like my hair my the back of my hair like is is doing all of this so i need to try to figure out what is going on went to the emergency room got some hives got got a, i don't know what i ate i don't know what i used but whatever it was it fucking broke me <laughs> it broke me out so that's why i ended up to, to, to that's why i ended up in the er let me just tell y'all something how, how this how this er had me a little messed up and a lot of you all not gonna agree with it because i called my sister and my sister is an lvn and she like you can't listen linda her name not linda but listen linda you know when i went to the er i let the lady know like hey and i'm thinking i'm gonna get seen faster I said, you know, I got a, uh, I got a rash. I'm not for sure if it's contagious. It's spreading. You know, it's on my back. It started on my back. It's now on my arms. It's on my neck, which is all true. But I knew it wasn't contagious. But I'm like, you know, I don't know if it's contagious or not. You know, you know, see, you know, whatever. So they like, okay. But I kept saying that because I'm like, no, I hit my sister up. I said, what can I, what word can I use to make them see me faster? I'm gonna tell her I got a rash. It's nothing you can use. You could have made an appointment with your doctor and all that stuff. Ma'am, I'm trying to figure out what the hell going on with me. I got surgery next week. I got to try to figure out before they be like, oh, they can't do surgery because they don't know what was. No, I can't. I, I'm not trying to have nothing delay what I got going on. So I need to go to the ER and try to figure out what is going on and do what I need to do to remove whatever I need to move. So she like it's nothing i can do with that so i'm on the phone with her or whatever but i'm telling the ladies because she's like i don't know why you said that that ain't gonna make them see you faster that's gonna make them isolate you but it's not gonna make them see you faster she's like only like if you got chest pain and so i was like oh i should have said i got chest pain so finally i was there from 6 a.m to 10 o'clock finally when i'm in the back i'm i don't get to the back until about nine i'm like yeah you know um I'm having chest pain. No, I'm like the the rash or whatever. It's, it's kind of itching right now. I'm like the you know like the rash or whatever. And I'm like I'm having and I'm having chest pain. They do an EKG and stuff like that. Normal, but you, do you think that made them rush any faster? Like no, but that's why I was in the ER, y'all. So none too serious, none too major. They gave me um. Uh, a prescription i don't even know what the name of it i don't know where that paper at that i'm supposed to pick up at safeway later and yeah <laughs> but anyways for those who watch this entire video thank you i appreciate you i will see you all in the next video so until next time hold on